guys, how's it going? My name is Harmony Nice and today I'm going to be doing a get to ready with me slash Q&A. So I thought I'd do another kind of chill video. I'm really in the mood for makeup videos over the last few weeks. I don't really know why and like hair videos and stuff. I've been feeling, been feeling it, feeling myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I thought I would just kind of do like a casual get ready with me and I was gonna do one of my every single day makeup but to be honest with you, my everyday makeup consists of me literally blotting blusher on my cheeks and wearing mascara most days. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different because I am getting to the point where I can like experiment with minimal makeup. I, that's kind of what I enjoy the most is kind of just wearing like occasionally when you go out some like eyeshadow or like a cool when they do like those arty like lines on Pinterest or something. I think they're really cool. But um, yeah, I thought I'd experiment because I saw this really cute green, like khaki green makeup look and I was like, hey, how about I do a get ready with me and a Q&A. Um, so I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram story, which is where I get the questions from and stuff like that and do that. And I thought I would just show you kind of my skincare, my very, very basic skincare. And then this makeup sort of look, which is quite basic and then just this hair which you've seen in a video before um, and kind of how I style my hair on the everyday too because I don't wash my hair every day I only try to wash it like once a week or something like that and just chill with you guys and ask answer some questions and stuff like that so I hope that that is okay before I start this video though this video is sponsored by Native Deodorant as a crucial part of my getting ready routine is making sure I stay fresh and lovely for the day while also taking care of my body since I've been trying to take care of my body a little bit more I've been been using natural deodorant for quite a while now so when Native reached out to me to work with them I absolutely had to go for the opportunity as they are an incredible natural deodorant company. Native deodorants are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are paraben free, aluminium free and also sulfate free which is amazing and using natural deodorant a little bit more I feel like makes such a difference instead of using kind of like the antiperspirants and the classic kind of spray on deodorants that you get rather than wearing something a lot more natural and better for your underarms and your body and also spray on deodorants and stuff just aren't good for my asthma I prefer roll-ons anyway so I really love the fact that these are like stick deodorants and I love the fact that they don't have harsh chemicals in them and they are all natural ingredients such as like cocoa butter and shea butter and different kind of herbs citrusy kind of scents I don't feel like you're putting anything that you're not familiar with on your body. It feels really good to have, just have something natural on your underarms. My favorite is the coconut. It just smells so incredible. I cannot pinpoint how good it smells. And they also gave me the citrus and herbal one and the lavender and rose one. And all of them smell incredible, but specifically the coconut one is just like, oh yeah beautiful. There's a long list of scents to choose from if none of them kind of take your fancy. I feel like native deodorant really keeps me nice and dry after I put it on and gives me kind of that fresh feeling for a long lasting amount of time and really just feels like I'm taking care of my body a little bit more as I really have been getting more into skincare and things like that. It feels silly to not be taking care of my underarm. So three deodorants normally cost $33 but with this specific code you can get them for $24. If you click the link down below and use this code here. I hope you check them out as they are super good natural deodorants as I feel like some natural deodorants I feel like don't do anything whereas I really really do feel like these do keep me more dry than spray or deodorants do. So I hope you check them out and I really hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's just hop right into it. Hello you guys, how are you all doing? So I've just come out of the shower moisturized done everything like that for my skincare i typically just wash my face with water unless i've got really dry or like irritated skin in which case i will probably use like an artificial scrub of some kind liz earl do a really nice one that i really enjoy and so do pixie that's pretty much all i've done in regards to getting ready i don't really know how this is gonna be or it's gonna be like a full get ready with me or something i'm gonna put my earrings in first as well because I like to. <laughs> okay. Thought I would kind of answer some questions while doing this because being honest with you, I've tried to record a get ready with me recently and I absolutely just felt like it was the most boring video ever because I barely wear makeup anymore. Um, so I guess, I guess that's the start. Let's just get started. I've also just got my 
a top on. Just, I, so, I actually sewed this today to fit me because it was a little bit too big when I got it off Depop and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to wear it. And I was like, ah, oh, I'll just, I'll just stitch it to fit me because I do that now. And I did and it fits and it looks really good. So I just kind of fancy doing a makeup video this week and I wanted to try out a makeup look because I love wearing minimal makeup and stuff like that. And I'm gonna stick to wearing minimal makeup as it is just what I prefer. If you'd like to see my reasoning behind wearing minimal makeup and stuff, I have a video on that. But I thought I'd do something a bit more fun today and just wear some, <laughs> Wear some eyeshadow basically for like my skin canal because I'm more interested in making my skin look nice than I am makeup and stuff at the minute. It just it feels so good when you're like taking care of your skin and stuff, and I really, really like glossier. So um, I have this priming moisturizer, which obviously I don't really need to prime my face particularly, but it's so creamy and so soft and genuinely the best moisturizer ever, and it smells amazing and I love it. So I just pop that all over my face. Let's get a question up while I'm doing this. So the first one is how do you deal with dissociation on the everyday? It is pretty hard to be honest with you. Now I'm just gonna take the Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye and Lip Pumping Cream and this I just put underneath my eyes and my lips and it's not like a tingly thing it basically just like really moisturizes your under eyes and stuff and I, I really like it. I feel like it's just like a makes me feel like I'm waking up a little bit more. When I first got dissociation, I really, really struggled, really struggled because, and I went through a long phase of kind of being like, I wish I could just get rid of this, be normal again and feel normal. Every moment that I had was like, underlined by the fact that I knew that I wasn't connecting to my reality as much as I should have been and that was really really hard and I've gotten better since working through a lot of trauma it's it's pretty much constant for me though I'm somebody that has it pretty much all the time underlying some people have it for like months on end and then don't have it for a few months some people have it a few days and then don't have it it's it's kind of weird and complicated some people have it full time and I'm one of those people who has it full time and it is a tough thing to kind of live your daily life having this underlying thing of not feeling like you're connecting to things because even when you're having a good day you can kind of still feel like you're not completely connecting to if anything at all really. I have worked through getting a bit more present and I have kind of minorly taught my brain to connect to things a little bit more and it took me ages. Kind of had to work through trauma to start off with um which kind of helped me like through therapy helped me like identify triggers and stuff like that that kind of made me go into like shutdown mode um and make when it got worse and everything like that and then connect with my senses so like not sitting on your phone because it's like an alternate reality basically and connect to things that make you feel more grounded and whole and people that make you feel more grounded and whole and i'm not saying it works like it's instantly just like perfect because I still suffer with it on the daily. I feel a lot better about it and I do feel more connected to things even though it's still there. I do think I will be able to work through it and it, I know there's like ex there's not very many like treatments and stuff for dissociation. I know there's like a clinic in London that specializes in that. I know there is ways that you can help yourself kind of return and feel a little bit more grounded and a little bit more connected. Really what I do is I try to start my mornings with a grounded routine. I think meditation has helped me a lot because it kind of reminds me to be more mindful of my surroundings even though it's still pretty hard and you still kind of do feel disconnected from your reality. Being mindful and smelling things and stuff and really like smelling also helps me like ground myself a little bit more, like ground myself morning, middle of the day and night as well. So I try to like do some grounding breathing exercises, feel myself floating away. I'll go outside and like take a second, breathe and just try to connect to the moment a little bit more. Doing creative things really helps me. I feel like a more connected to that specific thing and I'm not like stuck up in my head. I'm like involved in my surroundings. It is a process and I do feel like it's gone better for me. I feel like I'm not completely out of it all the time, but there definitely is some days where I just feel nothing. So next what I'm going to do, I think I'm just gonna go straight to the eyeshadow to be honest with you because because I guess that's kind of what I do. I don't do anything to my eyebrows anymore. I don't really have like any brushes or anything to use anymore. I'm like, what, what to use? 
use? What does one use? So basically I'm gonna be using this uh, so Jade Kathleen Lights slash Colourpop palette and it's like got all the crystal names and stuff as that and I'm gonna use this specific like khaki green. Let's pop it on my eyelids and see because I haven't really tried it without wearing like eyeliner because I'm obviously not going to be wearing like big eyeliner. Lots of people have been asking if I was interested in filming a night routine and I think I think I would film a night routine. This is kind of cool. I'm going to mix a little bit of the emerald in with it too. Oh yeah, that looks that's nice. Um I would like to film a night routine, I think. But I mean I don't really do that much in the night. I have like things that I like to do kind of get myself ready, but it's really not that much. Like I literally usually take my makeup off, put some like face oils on. I look mad at the minute. I'm just gonna blend it out with this brush as well. I'm just kind of like, I know. And then sometimes meditate in the evenings. That's it really. I don't really do like an awful lot. So yeah, I, prob I probably would, but I don't know how interesting it would be. My evenings kind of end up with me just like, not doing a lot. Okay, I feel like this looks genuinely a little bit mad. God, I'm not used to wearing eyeshadow anymore. So another question is, how is the hair growth going and are you doing leg hair too? So I'm not. I actually, I have armpit hair. I've grown my armpit hair out recently as it was something I always wanted to do. I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm going to do it. And I really, really like it. But I've never been interested in growing my leg hair out. I don't know why. It's just really not for me. But the hair growth is going pretty well. I'm, I'm kind of, it's getting pretty long already. As you can see, yeah, I really like it. I think I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going with it, obviously. So this is kind of a combination of two questions. Somebody asked how are me and my boyfriend and also somebody also asked, how do you balance putting yourself first slash self care in a relationship, making sure not to neglect your partner? Me and my boyfriend are great. Um, <laughs> we, we're pretty happy living here and stuff at the minute and everything like that is going pretty well. So now I'm just gonna take, sorry, I'm just gonna take this gold eyeliner and it's one from e.l.f. One set. I just need to blend out a little bit more green onto the top of my eye because there's like a definitive gap. Put a little bit of this emerald green on it because I think that looks cute. I usually do my eyeliner after but I've been loving gold eyeliner recently. But in regards to like self-care and putting yourself first and stuff like that, I think I find it quite easy because my boyfriend is very, he wants me to put myself first basically because we discovered like quite early in our, on in our relationships that if we focus on ourselves, our relationship kind of seemed to fall into place. I definitely think there's just like boundaries that you need to establish and also times where you will just need to be like, hey, I need to go like be by myself for a little bit and do my own thing. That's not neglecting your partner if you're making sure that you are still spending time with your partner and you are still nurturing a relationship and being considerate because there is always time in the day to be more considerate for your partner like recently we kind of had an issue where like I was doing a lot and not really clearing up much and that was affecting him a little bit because he was clearing up a lot we had the discussion about it and then I decided to just chip in a little bit more and it didn't make that much of a difference it's not neglecting your relationship to like go in the morning and like meditate for 10 minutes a day and if people say that that is you are neglecting your relationship from doing that you're not you're taking care of yourself and it's totally normal to have independent things to do within your life and also then have your partner there as long as you are being sure to listen to your partner's needs so i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes i've been doing that a lot recently and then i'm gonna kind of just work out whether i need some more eyeliner on because i feel like i might i always curl my eyelashes now the reason i'm not kind of doing my everyday makeup as well is because uh, my everyday makeup is literally like mascara like it's it's not it's not very interesting this is my favorite mascara though it's the glossier just one it's like the least clumpy mascara that i've ever used ever i put on a little bit more and i just apply mascara to my top lashes so another one is how do you cope with your with really bad mental health days in regards to really bad mental health days to be honest with you it's for me, it's about just doing what I feel like I need that day, but then also doing what's best for me. So there is some days where I feel like I need to just sit and watch films and chill out and eat and stuff like that. If I find myself getting into that pattern like a bit much, I will stop doing that. For me, it really does help having like a creative hobby because when I'm feeling really, really shit, 
I can go and do that or even go and just like try to do that and even if it goes wrong it makes me feel a little bit better and I at least try to get out for a walk now it seems to be a bit more manageable to like just try and kind of gal for a walk. I'm gonna put on a little bit more of this gold eyeliner to be honest. I feel like I I feel like I need it. And I try to just kind of see what my body needs. Like I feel like it is always good to eat a bit more healthy when my health isn't that great. Like that's just like a personal thing. But I also try to like follow up a bad day with a good day. So if I have a really bad mental health day, sometimes I just like let I let myself like have that day. But then I plan something for the next day to kind of something that almost like I won't, but I know that will um, make me feel a little bit better. But to be honest with you, I don't have that many bad mental health days anymore. I have some times when I really don't feel much, but never like extremely depressed anymore, which is good. But I think before I literally just had to do anything that I could do to kind of take care of my mental health and stuff, which is totally fine. I think this is cute. I don't really know anymore. <laughs> Like, what is makeup anymore? What is life? So for my eyebrows, I don't really do anything anymore. I just kind of like brush them through, make sure they're kind of standing up a little bit, but they don't really ever stay or anything, to be honest with you. I might actually extend the gold eyeliner even more. Someone asked, how do I love my face without makeup? And that is something that was really, really hard for me for years. Like I genuinely just thought like I'm not as attractive without makeup on. And for me, it genuinely just clicked. I like, it didn't matter whether I was attractive or not. And I know that sounds really funny because everybody wants to feel attractive, but I was kind of, it just like clicked with me that I was like, well, if all these, like if somebody was to go to me, oh, you're not attractive without makeup on, then I don't want to be with that person anyway. Or if there's somebody that was going to like think that I was ugly without makeup on or just like not as valuable without makeup on, then that's like not my issue. And I think for some reason, like I really can't explain it, but it just clicked with me that that like, it just didn't matter. So I cut down on makeup loads. So like I do still wear mascara, but that is just purely like a, to refresh my face a little bit. And I did that for ages until I felt comfortable like experimenting again, like now. This is probably the first time that I've experimented with makeup in ages. It was important for me to like get used to my face without makeup. And now I'm kind of sitting there and I'm like, wow, I look so weird with makeup on. Nobody else actually cares that much because everyone's so busy with their own shit. Now I'm just gonna be put on the Glossier Cloud Paint onto my cheeks. Just just dabbing it around a little bit. When it comes to makeup, I do wanna do like a video about how I changed my relationship with makeup because it was a bit more complicated than that. Like it, it did it did click, but it did also take me kind of embracing like all my natural features and stuff as well. So there is a like, I will, I will probably try to do like a video about how I embraced how I change my relationship with makeup and stuff because I genuinely think it is a good thing to do. Even if you love wearing makeup, which is completely fine if you do, I still think it's a good idea to maybe test your limits occasionally and make sure that you're not using it for a coping thing or to like hide your face. The only thing that I really love is blusher because I feel like it just makes me look like a little cutie. I've got to like, cover up my spots. I'll do that as well. Do you still consider yourself a cottage Wiccan? What kind of magic do you enjoy the most? So I do still consider myself as a cottage Wiccan, but I definitely feel like I freed up my spirituality a lot more and allowed myself to kind of be a bit more experimental because before I think I was so concerned about like fitting into something so that I could just like, it was almost like less time consuming. But since I've been allowed myself more time, I've just kind of like allowed myself to be a bit happier with just kind of like experimenting with whatever I can, whatever I want to do. And that's, it's really, really nice. So I am still a cottage wicker. That is still the type of magic that I enjoy the most. And it's really nice to give myself that kind of like spiritual freedom, I guess, because I feel like I haven't had that in years and it really feels nice to reconnect to that. So I don't usually wear anything on my lips, but I thought maybe I'd add a bit of lip gloss today. I kind of fancy wearing a bit of a lip gloss, so maybe I'll do that. I occasionally wear this, like if I'm going out or something, and it's just like the glossier lip gloss, basically. So I occasionally like it. I do think it looks pretty cute, but because I've got like quite prominent front teeth, I always feel like it looks like the shine looks like bigger teeth. I don't know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I'm almost finished with my video, but after that, what do you want you making? I feel like my makeup looks a bit mental, but 
to be honest with you, I don't really think it matters that much, does it? So I'm just gonna do my hair as I did in like my last video because I've really been loving wearing it recently now. The kind of braids at the front of my hair, I just feel like it looks really cute. Have you had any significant changes to your spiritual journey this year? Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I, I have had a lot, a lot of changes to my spiritual journey this year. If you want to see the tutorial for this, by the way, it's it's on my last video, I think, or my video before or something like that. I feel like I'm more open to kind of incorporating different elements into my Wicca kind of journey and my journey as a spiritual being and kind of realizing that I don't have to, like even though Wicca is what I practice. I think for myself, it's changed from being like more of a set path and something that I do um, as a set path to just embracing the fact that I'm a spiritual being and kind of um, looking inside myself and embracing that a little bit more, which is something that I did a lot when I was younger and kind of just enjoyed the process of a spirituality um, instead of it being like, a task and that was something that I think meant a lot to me and really helped me like reconnect to Wicca again because for so long I was just kind of convinced that like that I was just gonna have to be like stuck doing the same thing within Wicca and kind of never like branching out kind of using it as like a restructured like we you must do all of this kind of just embracing like life and just embracing my spiritual kind of being and yeah I think that's probably the biggest thing that's changed is I've just I've been a lot more free and that has just been beautiful and brilliant I love it and I feel so much happier <laughs> so much happier let's do one last question let's, let's try to do this mid hair so this is one relating to I guess in my sobriety video but somebody said do you ever get cravings for alcohol now that you're sober and if so what do you do when it happens so I kind of do and kind of don't. It's weird, it's like sometimes when I'm in weird situations, like if I'm at a gathering and they're all drinking and I'm a bit anxious, I will sometimes like feel the need to to drink. Then I kind of, I guess like I, I just remember, like I occasionally just like will think about something that I did when I was drunk, which I know you need to like forgive yourself for and stuff like that. But for me, I guess I it kind of just was like, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that person. And also like, just think about how awful you'd feel the next day for coming this far. I mean, it wouldn't matter because obviously everybody has to kind of find their path of it and some people relapse and then some people go back to not drinking again. For me, if I was to do something, I'd either like remove myself from this situation if it was like really bad or um, I sometimes go in if I'm feeling really, really anxious, go find somewhere like quiet, like a toilet or something and just breathe and just like focus on my breath for a few minutes and compose myself a little bit more and then go out and that does help my anxiety, which then tends to help my craving for the alcohol because I definitely think I drank more for like confidence and there's a bit of like a blow off steam thing just to remember that like, that's not, that's not me. That's not what I'm about anymore. I really don't know. My makeup looks genuinely a little bit mad, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all right. So I think I'm going to end it there. I know there's so many good questions. I wanted to answer them all, to be honest with you. Um, this is just my hair and my makeup. Woo. I'm going to do like a little, for you, a little pose. I feel like my makeup looks genuinely a little bit mad, but oh well. Like I'd wear it if I was like gonna go out. <laughs> Is that ever gonna happen? But you know what I mean? Like if I was like going to, going out for dinner. That's quite cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. This cute kind of like get ready with me. Hope you kind of enjoyed that sort of thing. I I quite like these because they feel more a bit authentic and I, I still like to experiment with like arty makeup and I just I feel like this is this is cute I like this like minimalist art makeup I'm into all right I still definitely prefer myself with minimal makeup I don't know why it's just it's stuck in my head now 
but it's good. Woo, I like my face. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this get ready with me um, and seeing this hairstyle for the 27,000th time on my Instagram and YouTube recently. But I love you so much. I really hope you are doing well and just lots of love to you. I hope you're all keeping well and doing okay. And thank you for all the questions. Uh, I'm gonna do like another Q&A soon, just like a pure standalone one because there's so many good questions. I feel like I didn't answer as many as I could have done because obviously my makeup tutorial is very, very small. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.